Ah, oh, what was the question? Oh yeah, memento mori. It means remember, it's inevitable that we will all die. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Sean from Naples, Italy. This is uh, Salt, uh, a channel that uh, used to be all about sports and uh, interesting topics. However, we have uh, shifted uh, to updates on uh, coronavirus uh, in different countries of the world, just to give you a little bit of uh, information directly from the people with no filter from uh, the press. So these are the questions uh, I asked uh, my friends uh, from around the world. And uh, number one is, uh, what's your name? Hi, my name's Anna. Where are you from and where do you live now? Question two. I am from Lisbon and I'm still living in Lisbon. Are you afraid of catching the virus? I wouldn't say I'm afraid of catching the virus, but I'm a bit worried of catching it, uh, mostly because of my parents. Are there any family members you are concerned about? Number four. Yes, I worry about my parents and my grandmother. They are at their homes. Is your country on lockdown? Number five. Yes, Portugal has been on state of emergency since uh, mid-March. Are you willing to sacrifice your freedom for collective health? Uh, yes, I'm willing and I would say that I'm already sacrificing part of my freedom uh, being at home. What extent are you willing to sacrifice? Stay home, not see your family, not see your children, not see your friends? Um, I have been staying at home, I haven't seen my family, only through WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Do you approve of China and South Korea tracking people's movements and also their clinical records with a phone app? Is it possible that governments are trying to shift the responsibility to citizens, making them feel guilty of breaking the rules rather than facing the problem directly? I don't look at it that way. I think most governments are doing a fine job, but we should join forces fighting this common threat as we all play an important role defeating the virus. How do you feel about homeless people right now? What do you think will prevail? Selfishness or sympathy? Uh, unfortunately, I think selfishness will prevail, but this might not be a very bad thing because if people are selfish enough to think about their loved ones, they might actually stay at home and that could be a good thing. Orban, the leader of Hungary, has capitalized uh, on the situation by taking uh, full control of uh, parliament and any freedom of speech with the excuse of uh, the emergency. Now, do you believe other politicians in other countries may do the same? Which country is managing the emergency best in your opinion? Uh, I'm not sure which country is dealing best with this situation, but I would say Austria and the Czech Republic are doing pretty well, and Portugal is not doing bad either. Have many people lost their jobs in your country? Is your country facing economic recession? How long do you think it will take to go back to normal life? Uh, worldwide, I would say maybe only next year, but in Portugal, I think around June we'll be getting back to our normal lives. Have the people in your country lost their smile or are they resilient enough to keep on uh, laughing and being in good spirits? Uh, I think people in Portugal are doing their best and I think we are resilient enough to keep on smiling. So I hope you enjoyed the video. More of them coming uh, as I asked uh, other friends from other countries uh, to join in uh, and uh, uh, give us their feedback on uh, the situation. In the meantime, uh, if you liked the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.